Hi guys, welcome to a new week. Um, I'm doing my last little bit of sightseeing in uh, Bangkok before leaving on Thursday, uh, Friday night actually. Um, and you'll see what it is, uh, where I am for the last bit of sightseeing in Thailand before things go on. And yeah, we'll have to wear the mask the whole time, so sorry about that. This is fun. This is the highest building in Thailand. Uh, many of you know it as the pixel building. Looks like there's like pixels missing out of it. And I didn't know you could actually go outside upstairs, but I can go on this glass uh, bottom and just grab it like all daring because it's so high. Let's do it. It's a bit weird, you're not allowed to actually film or take photos while you're on the thing, so that sucks a little, but anyway, I was, I was on it. <laughs> Believe me, I was on it. Absolutely the perfect uh, last thing to do in Bangkok uh, with this view. Absolutely amazing to say goodbye to this amazing city and this amazing country. I'm not leaving today, but this is just the best way to, to say goodbye uh, to Bangkok. Hi guys, it's Wednesday. Uh, yesterday the uh, Makarao Tower, <laughs> it was really cool, it was really nice to, to check that out um, and a really good experience. I can recommend definitely everybody coming to Bangkok to go up to that tower because um, the elevator alone is awesome and obviously I was lucky um, because there weren't that many tourists at the moment so it was quite good. Right, so Wednesday, it means tomorrow is my last day in Bangkok. Um, I still have a couple of errands to run. The main thing that I have to do today is get the dreaded PCR test, hoping that that will be fine. It's one thing that when I traveled to Bangkok, I had the problem that I had a positive test, um, a false test, did another one. Luckily, I did another one, which was then negative, and then I could go, but it was like, oh, panic. So now I'm obviously a little scared um, that something would go wrong. So I, I didn't eat anything, just had a sip of water just now. So the test is in like 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm just really hoping that it's not going to be like a false positive test again because that was just really scary. Anyway, so I uh, have to do that. I get my laundry um, and then I will have a nice massage, last massage in Thailand. Um, and then I will pre-pack for, for tomorrow. So that's, uh, yeah, so a lot of errands to run um, while I'm saying goodbye to Thailand. All right, uh, I'll show you some of that. And otherwise there will be a lot of interesting stuff happening from Korea if I make it there. <laughs> So 
last day I have to say goodbye to this view. Uh, it's really nice. So um, yeah, it's chaos in the room, so please ignore it. Um, almost packed. Um, the flight is at one in the morning. Uh, it is 6 p.m. now. I'm going to meet some friends for dinner here in the, in the hotel and then I'll go from here at 9.30 to the airport and uh, probably won't be sleeping because the flight is only five hours. I can't sleep on planes anyway. And well, yeah, um, so yeah, that's it. Flying to Seoul tonight. Um, I didn't finish the story about the hotel because I was complaining in the last vlog about this. And I did in the end, it was complete chaos. It's still chaos. I've just been downstairs. It's still absolute chaos. I got a chance to talk to the general manager and complain and talk about this and it's just like, I'm giving like constructive feedback and um, I was very disappointed by, by this and he was very understanding. He said, yeah, we're screwing up here and we're really sorry. So it's really nice that he allowed me to stay in the room later and they're actually paying for, a, for transport to the airport, which is nice. But it's not why I complained, it's just about, you know, improving things and making sure things are run right. Especially if somebody like me puts down money uh, to have a nice experience and I, I'm not getting it. <laughs> so anyway, so that's it. Uh, wrapping up my stuff. Uh, I have to reduce everything to two bags uh, because I'm only allowed one checked bag. The other one would cost like a hundred dollars. I'm not willing to do that. Getting it down to two bags. Off to Seoul. I look like shit, but it's okay. New country unlocked. I'm in Seoul, Korea. <laughs> okay, this is my room. I'm at Travel Lodge. Uh, as always, I'm gonna put like the price here. Um, it's not, you know, it's not like it's not cheap, 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 cheap. But for a week, I think it's pretty good. I'm so tired. Um, bathroom, very basic. I show you the view, which is actually quite interesting. Um, you just saw a little bit of my trip from the airport here. Um, I had to do a couple of errands on the way. Hang on, I'll show you the view. This is my little view of Seoul. Yeah, so I had to get a COVID test. So on arrival, you have to do a PCR test um, and have to wait for the um, result. But I think that should be there any, any minute really. And then I'm doing a little trip, a little tour, um, basically Kickstarter to explain to me how Seoul works. And um, then I'm, I'm gonna crash soon because I basically didn't sleep last night. It was a, um, it was a five hour flight and I was like, I mean, I was, I was probably sleeping for 20 minutes, but it's like really not, not doing anything. But so far my impressions of Korea are pretty awesome. I can't wait to explore more. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit now and then way more for the next two weeks.
6.30. Uh, I'm doing proper vlog style today, uh, walking and talking here in Seoul. Uh, first of all, just after the last uh, time I talked to you basically. So the thing was like, on the flight here to Seoul, I slept like, I don't know, half an hour or something. So the night after, almost as expected, I slept 13 hours. And because of that, last night I couldn't sleep and I only slept about two hours or something. So great start. So I am up this early because I am joining a tour today up to the north of South Korea. So right to the border with North Korea and we can peek over and I learned a lot about the history of the Korean War and all that. So it's going to be very interesting. Isn't this pretty? Look. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be an interesting day, but this vlog will end here because we do have enough stuff for this week or for this video. So I'm going to do an extra video of uh, my trip up to the north of this beautiful country and it will be nice to get some more impressions um, solely for that. So I will say goodbye for today and for this week. Make sure to subscribe, click the little bell because then you get a notification when the next video is coming, which is going to be from the DMZ, the demilitarized zone with North Korea. I hope you enjoyed this one and yeah, I hope to see you in the next one.